Hey, welcome to OC Donut Steel. I'm Evan. This is Alana. And we're talking, I'm drawing some art. It's sped up twice as fast as normal. And we're talking about what we see. So what do you see? Well, I see um, a pretty B.A. tough woman. Uh -huh, yeah. Sort of a, a tomb raider or grave robber. Yeah. Um, or Anna or Anna. Yeah, like the movie we just saw. Was it Anna? It's probably more accurate. I think it's Anna. Anna. I think they said Anna, but I, I don't know. Well, she's Russian. Who knows? But we just saw uh, Anna by Luc Besson, which is kind of that sort of la femme Nikita, femme fatale uh -huh. uh, genre entry, which I like. You know, a lot of the art I do, you know this, being married to me, <laughs> a lot of the art I do is this sort of femme fatale right. approach to the characters. Because it's like, again, I've mentioned this before, drawing is so labor intensive, there's so much work that goes into it, that you really want to enjoy the subject matter that you're drawing. <laughs> and I also view, like, drawing, like, a B.A. woman, a tough woman, mm -hmm. a Tomb Raider type character, there's a challenge there because you can't add too many details. You have to like pick and choose what lines you're going to have on paper. Right. Because there is, I forget who said this originally, might have been Neil Adams, might have been someone else. Uh, every line you add to the face of a female character adds a couple years. Right. That's a paraphrase. Mm -hmm. But you got to be aware of that when you're drawing female characters, especially if you want them to be attractive. I'm not saying this is attractive. I do my best, but there's, there, there's always another hill to climb. No, oh, she's attractive. You did great. Oh, thanks. It's very yeah. Simple. Yeah, so uh, what was your reference for this? My reference? I'm not sure exactly what it was. It might have been a photo of someone in tactical gear. Uh, I, I don't think it's a comic character. I don't think it was a comic artist. Uh, I know on the right, you can see kind of in the fisheye lens on the right side of the page, mm -hmm. there's... You thought it was me drawing Kobe Smolders again, but this is me drawing Taylor Swift. Yeah, I thought that it was Aunt Robin. Yeah. Which, I wouldn't say the nose is perfect here, or the lips. There is something in the lips that reminds me of Taylor Swift. The nose is maybe a little little too too far out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, that's that's it. you've only got so many lines, you've only got so many chances. If you don't get it right on this photo, or this picture, this drawing, try mm -hmm. again on the next one. Yeah. That's my advice to young aspiring artists out there. If you don't get it right this time, just start another one. Do another drawing. Yeah. You know, don't don't just like go back and try to fix something again no. and again. And then maybe just come back to this later. Like maybe you need to look at it fresh again. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, the fisheye lens mm -hmm. definitely does make things look different than they do on the paper. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should try different cameras for future episodes. Absolutely. I've been thinking about that too. And we actually have a couple different, you know, smartphone cameras we can use that'll just be straight on. And because it's at the artboard, I don't feel like we're losing any detail from it not being 2, 3D because it's a 2D image anyway. Right. You know, it's like if you're using a real camera with like a lens that protrudes, mm -hmm. you get better 3D representation. Mm -hmm. But when it's just flat art, you know, yeah. how important is that? But I'm liking, you've got what, an iPhone 10? Yes. Just 10? Yes. 10 well, 10R, I think. Not the iPhone inks? That's how I used to say that band in excess. Oh. When I does it make more sense now? Yeah. I had excess. Yeah. As a kid, I'd be like, "Oh, you got the new the new tape from Inks, <laughs> Inkses." No, I don't have that one. I have the uh, R. Yeah, but it's still that will record in 4K. I'm not sure that I will. That's that's not something the home screen yeah. photo <laughs> doing some Back to the Future cosplay. Uh, but I'm not sure that I will record in 4K on the phone because there's still like a limitation of hard drive space. Right. But I'm going to try a couple different resolutions and see what works well both on your iPhone and I've got a Sony Xperia uh, I want to compare it to. And I might do all three. This is like I mentioned before, this is an Acaso B50 Pro, which is more like extreme sports, you know, sort of footage capturing. Mm -hmm. It's got like one of those little plastic cases you can like clip to a helmet. Or, you know, if you're ever going to go out skydiving sky or something like Somebody that. Somebody really cool must have gotten that for you. you. You did. It was a great gift. Thank you. But I might do like, um, well, let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be interesting to have like me recording drawing with two or three different cameras, like taking turns with them and then stitching that together for a commentary. Like we do a comparison for the 4K camera 
the Xperia, and the uh, iPhone. So I noticed that you leave like white space um, outside of the drawing. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you're going to go back through and blend, or is that because you're going to use a black to like um, put more ink details in there? Like why? Why would you? It's do that? it's mostly for the ink details. If you mean like the, the little spaces in between the character, like say between your belt and pants, mm -hmm. that is me leaving space for going over with uh, the Hunt 102 nib and the Micron pigment liners, the uh, archival ink pens uh, for that. And then the, the white outside is, you know, someday will be a background. The thing, the setting here, I can tell you, there's a bit of a narrative to this image. Okay. And this is set on a space station. So why she has a gun on a space station, inappropriate. Well, she likes to live dangerously, I can tell. Or it's an easy fix. Like in Thank You For Smoking, they say, let's just, we say they invented the something something device. Guns in space are now okay. But you can't really see, there is a sort of a, a mystical witch type character lifted from a vampirella pose I by see a, I see a, um, a skull. skull, yeah. Okay. So this is from an image of vampirella that I think J. Scott Campbell did originally. So this is, I don't know, maybe they've got a witch on the space station. So this grave robber, tomb raider, you know, BA, femme fatale, mm -hmm. tactical, military gear female has to eliminate the witch on the space station. I don't know. <laughs> you see, I, I kind of like brain, I'm doing like a first draft How about brainstorm. How in a cave? In a cave, okay. So I just have to change the setting to yeah. a cave. Yeah, because why would a witch be on a space station with an army lady? That's a good Tomb question. Raider. That's a good question. <laughs> so she's in the cave and she's hunting the witch? Yeah, maybe she's there for an artifact and the witch is trying to keep her from getting it. The artifact could be the skull. Ooh. It could be the crystal skull. Oh. Now we're looking at more now Indiana. Now you're going to get sued. Yeah, more Indiana <laughs> Jones fanfic. Uh, but, the, you know, that's the kind of the thing about the creative process, if you want to call it creative, is that it's really like a, a chain. There's always some reference, some existing link, and you can be more honest or you can be less honest about right. where you're taking stuff from. But very few things are just like, it came to me in a dream. And I woke up and I just had to get it all on paper. You know, you're oftentimes, as an artist, I would say consciously making reference to something that you like or enjoy, either from previous photos or other art. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is the subject matter I enjoy, the sort of genre. Uh, femme fatale, point of no return, la femme Nikita, Anna. Yeah. Lucy. Female, female snake, dog, whatever that is from the... <laughs> you mean solid snake? Is, yeah. Is that a Metal Gear reference? Yeah, a very poor one. Uh, well, I mean, who are some of your favorites in that category? Oh, I know what you wanted me to do next, right? You want to mention that? Yeah, I want you to do Charmed. Yeah, the TV the, show. The Halliwell Sisters. Yeah. Uh, not the newer version. I'm not that into that one. I mean, you could, you could draw it if you wanted mm -hmm. to, but... Um, I definitely like the Rose McGowan years, um, or the Shannon Doherty, that's, that's fine too. Yeah. Um, and then there was something else that I said that you should have done too. I just can't think of what it was right now. That's okay. I think Charm is going to keep me busy enough for now. Yeah. Uh, but with that, I'm actually going to, unless you have other comments, we can cut out here, but really there's another minute or so of drawing. Oh, okay. But. When you don't have any more commentary, you don't have any more commentary. <laughs> well, um, I definitely like this drawing. I think that you're doing a great job on it. Thanks. Um, I definitely think that you're doing really well at the Femme Fatale, that it might be nice to see you get outside of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And maybe draw some dude superheroes, um, like maybe some Captain America. Okay, Captain um, America. Yeah, that would be really cool because it's one that's going to challenge you with um, needing to draw a face. Yeah, yeah. Um, although you probably could even just do the mask, you know, yeah. um, to get out of some of that detail. But uh, I think that it's always good to challenge yourself and, you know, get good at what you like, but keep doing stuff that takes you out of that comfort zone so that if you're trying to pursue this more um, from a professional standpoint, people could commission you to do all sorts of different things and you're not going to be stuck in a rut. Absolutely. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Be sure to like and subscribe.